Aloha beautiful souls, this is Brian of Transolution and welcome to my channel Transform with Brian where I am bringing you that light whenever there are shadows. Now in this pick a card tarot reading we are going to be looking at what is in the next chapter of your life and we're going to look at the general energies and tones and features and then after that we're going to look at love, romance, relationships and then we're going to get some message on sort of this feeling of accomplishment and success, okay? So here we have four options. We have elements here on the bottom. With air, we have calcite. And next up with water, we have aquamarine. And here we have fire with aragonite. And here on this end, we have earth with unikite. So go ahead and see which element perhaps which crystal or a combination of both is really calling to you to open up and give you information on this next chapter in your life. And you can take a look down at the description box below for the timestamps and I'll see you at your readings, okay? Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. So happy to have your energy here again today. And for those of you that are new to this channel, sending you a very warm welcome and aloha. So happy to have you here. Do let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments down below. <laughs> so today we are looking at what is in the next chapter of your life. And those of you that were drawn to this air energy here, and or this lovely calcite crystal let's get into your reading and i feel called to put this right here in this section of the screen and we're going to start off with just some general information general reading some some things that are important for you to be aware of that's coming your way here and what this next chapter could be all about. Um, we'll see, you know, if there's any challenges or blessings or something that's um, going to be a part of this next chapter in your life. And then we'll move on to love. Okay, so. We have, first out, the King of Swords. How appropriate that that card comes out here uh, with the air element, right? <laughs> and then we have Death. Ooh, okay, okay. So some kind of transformation perhaps happening here or an end of something. Nine of Coins, Loverly. The Fool, oh, okay. Beautiful how this comes in order after the Death card. Ace of Coins, I love this. Okay, let's kind of scooch this over a bit. You know, maybe I need to move this a smidge too. And I just realized that candle is not lit. Oopsies. And then lastly, we have Temperance here. Oh, wow. Look at this energy here. Let me light this candle up for you all. <laughs> and then we'll dive into the... Um, the information here from spirit okay that was a bit of a challenge there right <laughs> okay okay loves so what we have here so um what i'm seeing in this next chapter of your life is definitely some type of mastery has happened here and it's like um because you've mastered something here in in this phase of your life it's time to kind of start over and start fresh um and start out as a bit of a novice again like get a fresh start what i'm getting here is that you know this thing that you have mastered has stopped challenging you you've stopped growing with it you're kind of 
on autopilot, on this cruise control kind of vibe and energy here. And that's why this has to come to an end and something new has to come in and take its place, okay? Now what I'm getting here is it has something to do with intellect. I'm also getting something to do with your skill sets. So perhaps it has something to do with work, right? Or if not that, maybe you're part of some sort of organization or a community and you've really done your part to nourish and help it grow. And now it's time for you to grow in your own way as well on your new path here. And so you gain this mastery, you know what to do, what to expect. Again, it's really no challenge for you any longer. And so it's time for you to leave it behind, okay? And what I'm getting here with the death card is, as we kind of follow this story progressing, right, is this is definitely coming to an end. You are transforming your path, transforming your destiny, all right? What I'm seeing here too is that there are some people that are going to be really sad to see you go and move on to the next chapter in your life, whether that's a new job, a new career, a new role, a new position, a new organization. Um, Interesting, for some of you, I even sense a move, okay? Because here with the King of Swords, there's this griffin um, who's a winged creature. And I, and for some of you, it's literally like you're flying away. Um, maybe some of you were even on like a temporary position here. Uh, I don't know if it was like a locum tenens thing, or perhaps um, you were doing contract works, right? And so now you fulfill the contract and it's time for you to travel and go to your next site of work. Um, so some project or something is coming to a close here and you've definitely left a mark. You've definitely left an impression here. And so some people are really going to miss you. And what I'm seeing here is with this curtain kind of being pulled back that some of you are leaving um, people behind that are going to be like, oh no, it's going to come next. Like everything was going so great and so wonderfully with you around. And now we're just uncertain. And some people are even like a bit fearful to see what's going to be around the corner, what's happening next, because you provided them with such security and dependability, um, you know, like reliability and things like that. And so they're a little bit nervous here. And I sense that's more their energy than your energy. Next here we have the Nine of Coins. I'm seeing that there is gonna be an opportunity for a break here for you actually to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So definitely as you're transitioning, there's gonna be some downtime for you to just sit back and enjoy life, maybe take a week off. Uh, if you're lucky, even two weeks off, I think would be even better here. Maybe even nine days. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. It could be like, um, you know, Friday, Saturday, and then a whole nother, or not Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a whole nother week. And so you start on Monday, right? So you have like that weekend off, a whole week, another weekend, and then you begin in your new role, your new capacity. Um, and for some of you, maybe it's just like searching um, for the next project, the next thing for you to be a part of. But in the meantime, you're definitely getting that rest, that relaxation, much deserved. Um, I'm feeling to this energy of like integration, okay? So you went through this very powerful experience and this chapter of your life has come to a close and now it's this time to really just look back on it what did you learn what were the challenges how did you show up in full force as, as your best self and then in what ways were you kind of like mm, if i had to do that again i would do it differently okay so i see this opportunity for you again to just relax but also reflect and sort of integrate this experience and then look towards the future for those of you that it might not be so clear yet what your next job or your next role is gonna be now with this fool card we have this image of the tale of the little mermaid and the true story of the little mermaid is not as um doesn't have as a happy ending like the Disney version. But what I'm sensing here is really exploring new territory for you, all right? So really having this opportunity to challenge yourself. Um, and and what I'm hearing is like, like a fish out of water, okay? Where it's gonna be very exciting and very thrilling. Um, this challenge, I'm sensing for, for those of you, it's like you probably were getting a bit bored and we're like, mm, I don't feel challenged anymore in this position. I don't feel so like 
thrilled by what's happening because it's so very mundane for me at this point in time. It's almost like what I'm getting is you didn't really have to think. Like I said before, you could be on autopilot. So your mind and your intellect wasn't being challenged in ways that are fulfilling for you. And so with this new one, you're definitely going to have this opportunity to be like a fish out of water, be in this new territory. And it's going to take you a little bit of time to adjust, but it's going to be quite the experience in a very good way. And what I'm seeing here with all these different fish coming out is just like this fool card represents. There's this... Um, there's like this opening of multiple pathways for you to move forward, right? So like in this job, it was like, okay, this is your role. This is the path forward. It's very predictable. It's kind of like a one way street, one direction. It's like you're at A, you have to go next to B. Like it's just very straightforward like that, okay? But with this new position and this new role, this new chapter in your life, it's like, whoa my gosh, A can now lead to B, C, D, Z, Q, F, um, one, um, bird, like it can just lead to all these different things. And so there's infinite possibilities here on where you want to take this next chapter, this next part of your journey here in this lifetime and, and what can come of it. So infinite possibilities and infinite opportunities. And here with the Ace of Coins, though, what I'm seeing as sort of a unified or um, a consistent factor in all of this is the expansion of material wealth and abundance. So definitely like a step up from where you were before. And I'm seeing this abundance coming in all different ways. Like for one, it could definitely be that you're getting literally a pay raise. So you're making more money at this new position, this new role. Um, or if you know you were doing volunteer work, maybe now you're going to be getting paid for doing similar work at an organization, whether it's a nonprofit um, or um, like a government agency or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, and it's like taking your career and your life to a whole nother level. This um, fairy tale that's represented in Ace of Coins is Jack and the Beanstalk. So for those of you that maybe are not familiar with that story, um, real quickly, there was um, a young boy who lived on a farm. I believe it was just with his mother, actually. I think maybe his father had passed away. And so they were really struggling on this farm. and trying to make ends meet and his mother I want to say gave him like a little billy goat or something like that um, to go to the market and sell so that they can get food and supplies and so the son went out there it might not have been the billy goat like she sent him to the market to get things in exchange for something that they had okay um, could have been a cow I'm not sure but that's not the important thing in any case he actually got um he met this merchant merchant i use the term loosely because it sounds like it could have just been some kind of traveling salesperson even versus like someone who actually had a stall um, and was like a fixture in that market who was offering him these what he called magical beans that will take him to riches untold riches and, you know, of course, in this area, it was like magical beans, like, give me a break. Like, what is this nonsense? But the merchant managed to convince Jack to do the trade. And so he came home and he was actually kind of excited. Um, maybe he was a bit naive. And his mother was quite upset that, what do you mean you got these stupid magical beans here? Um, like, I told you to get food. I told you to get something useful. And so she was super upset. And Jack was kind of ashamed. Um, and he threw the beans out the window. And overnight, the beans actually grew like under the moonlight, under the starlight and reached all the way up into the heavens. And the next morning, Jack saw what it was 
and climbed up to go explore and see what it is. And up there, he encountered a giant, um, like the famous phrase of the fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an English one, or something like that. So he smelled a human, and he was trying to find Jack and like eat him and whatever. Um, but Jack was able to escape him, and he found this goose that laid a golden egg, and it would continue to lay golden eggs. And so, like super valuable creature here. And, um, you know, he escaped down the beanstalk with this goose with the golden egg, and then the giant chased after him. And, you know, Jack made it down first, and he got an axe and chopped down the beanstalk, and the giant fell with it and died. <laughs> so not a great happy ending for the giant themselves, but a happy ending for Jack and his mother, because now they had this goose that laid this golden egg, and they would never go hungry and be poor again. And so... What I'm seeing for you is like, again, going on this adventure and you're really going to tap into this opportunity for wealth and abundance. So for some of you, it could be like the pay raise like we talked about, but for others of you, it could even take some other shape or form. Like maybe you'll meet somebody that you can collaborate with and start a business with that's going to be very lucrative and very profitable. Maybe you're going to learn about this investment opportunity. Um, uh, like a, um, like where everybody, what I'm, this is very interesting. What I'm getting is it's like you and other people are like pooling your money together to make a bigger investment into something. And then from there you can make, um, like a profit and split it kind of amongst you. And that, I don't know, I remember one of my good friends from PA school, her husband went in on purchasing a house with four of his college buddies and they lived in the house while you know they were going to university and they were um, there too just after they finished university and started working it was like their first home kind of thing and they fixed it up and what they ended up doing was flipping the house and being able to sell it for a profit so you know being fresh high school students and college students freshly graduated high schoolers now in college they didn't have much money but they were able to pool their resources in this investment of a home and then later on down the road like flip it and invest it so maybe you guys might i don't know buy a franchise buy a home do something very similar i i hear this thing where people are like uh, working with people who do airbnb and managing the property as an airbnb um even though it was originally advertised as like a rental site so it's very interesting like the possibilities now for you to create new wealth now here with the temperance card what I'm really getting here is that everything is going to be moving quite steadily for you like yeah you're going to have maybe some challenges and some moments where you might be confused and not sure where to move next but overall it's going to be very smooth sailing for you in this next chapter of your life like not many big tower moments or catastrophes for you to experience here it's really just going to flow quite nicely it's going to make so much sense here um, for you as you move along um, and which is a nice change i would say for a lot of the uncertainty that has been a uh, part of everybody's life for the past several years here um, before the recording of this video and what i love about this sort of situation here is we have three major arcana cards here so this next chapter of your life is definitely not one of those like take a break and just be on cruise control kind of life it's really um, setting yourself up for your greater future here so this next chapter is going to be very pivotal pivotal <laughs> pivotal in your life journey is what i'm sensing here um Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's take a look at your love life here, okay? Um, and we'll see if there's messages, what kind of messages come through for those of you that are single and those of you that are partnered up or in a committed relationship. So let's kind of see what comes through here in the realm of love. Mirroring, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. Oh, that's lovely. Offer, 
gesture engagement wedding rejoice in your union oh i feel like some very straightforward messages already coming through here from the get-go dang i love the clarity here self-worth value self-esteem confidence be empowered by valuing yourself union oh my god could we even reconciliation eternal love your time has come family kids opinions judgment resolve family stress get support and potential fulfillment risk achievement your potential is limitless oh my gosh look at how this potential card really just falls in flow and in sync with this fool card here about these endless possibilities um let me take a sip of my tea so i think these messages are quite quite clear so for those of you that are single what I'm seeing here is that there's this opportunity to really build up your self-worth. And in doing so, you're actually going to be able to attract uh, the type of partner that you've always wanted. Someone that's really worthy of your love and affection and being in um, connection and union with you, okay? Because perhaps you've hit a bit of a rut when it comes to dating and you've had some really poor matches um, in recent months or years and you're you're almost on that point where like oh god I just give up or maybe some of you have and you've been taking this hiatus from dating and it's really all to build up your self-worth because you know in in my years on this planet what I've come to understand and realize is you attract what you are so if deep down inside you feel like unworthy of love not attractive enough not smart enough not funny enough not um you know husband or wife material whatever then you're going to attract partners that share some or all of those beliefs and it's not going to be a very fruitful enriching or enjoyable relationship so it's really about building that sense of self-worth for yourself and honoring and respecting yourself and allowing the people that would honor and respect you also to kind of be magnetized and drawn into your life to be in union with and to partner up with and so now i see that there's really this opportunity now for you to be mirrored who you truly are um, to be mirrored in your partner and it's gonna feel very much like this beautiful um, timeline and flow of a, events is gonna feel like perfect timing almost very fairy tale like with this synchronicity here synchronicity abounds it's like you're gonna really think like oh my god what are the chances that I would meet my dream partner here in this part of the world at this venue at this place on this day of all days and like um, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, if you know, just if it had just been a couple minutes later, we would have totally missed each other. But as we know it, destiny um, prevails, and you connect, and you meet up with each other, and the potential here for this relationship that's coming in is just limitless. Like you both can create whatever you want out of this. Anything is possible in the journey that you two will share together. Now, for those of you that already are with somebody or in union, my gosh, if you were waiting for like them to propose or if you were waiting for a moment to propose to them, like my gosh, now is the time because this next chapter of your life includes an engagement, a wedding, or some sort of sign of a commitment. Like, you know, hey, we're going steady now. And <laughs> what I'm getting, it's like so, so cute. It's like back in the day, um... I want to say like maybe the first half of the 1900s, um, like maybe 1950s, 40s, 60s, whatever that kind of region. Like in high school, when people were going steady, they would give, the guy would usually give the girl their letterman jacket. Um, so it was, it's just kind of reminding me of that where it's like now you are officially together. Okay, again, whether that is um, you are... Um, lovers, boyfriend, girlfriend kind of situation, <clears throat> or if you're going to be engaged together, 
or if you're actually tying the knot and getting married. Um, so any one of those things is going to be quite the celebration and it's going to feel maybe for some of you <laughs> like it was a long time coming. You're like, oh my God, I kissed so many frogs already. Finally, I got my prince or my princess <laughs> or what have you. And, you know, this union here, again, whatever shape it's going to take, whether it's going to be commitment as a married couple in the eyes of the law or just as like, you know, a committed couple together, um, the time has come. So, so beautiful. And for those of you that are already in union and have been wanting to have a family, well, bam, there you go. They are coming. This next chapter of your life are going to include children in your family and maybe for some of you too if there was any trials or tribulations regarding family members like extended family that's going to come to a resolution here for you because um, we have both reconciliation and resolve family stress so that could be extended family like the in-laws kinds of thing or cousins whatever or it could be within you two as a family unit being a partnership okay like being able to reconcile and come back to each other in a fresh way almost like renewing your love and renewing your vows and your commitment to each other like maybe recently because of your um, traveling and you're busy with work and your goals professionally speaking and things like that maybe the relationship was a bit strained and now there's this chance to reconcile feel fulfillment with each other again and um, see the new value and worth that you both have not only for yourself but for your partner too all right oh this is like such a beautiful reading it's just like it's like moving on up in the world here i'm sensing like this lovely progression in this next chapter of your life like i'm not setting sensing any kind of like setbacks or bumps in the road here at all like is like smooth waters here smooth sailing and i'm just so excited for you oh this is lovely so let's get some surprise messages and blessings here as well about this next chapter in your life by pulling some of these nature's whispers cards for you okay so i'm feeling from spirit we got to do a little shuffly shuffle Okay, and Spirit is saying draw from the top. So we have be in service. Oh, lovely. But with this, I'm also getting be in service to yourself. Like with this self-worth, like don't lose sight of who you are and your goals and what you're trying to achieve in this lifetime. Um, so not only give of your time to others, but make sure you continue to give time and energy towards yourself and those relationships that you value. And then Spirit is also saying take the bottom card. So we have higher ground. Oh my God, moving on up in the world. And just like this flower, you are blossoming and blooming. And the view is so nice from up there. <laughs> and then lastly, we're going to pull here from the middle from cutting the deck. We have amplify your positive emotion. So there we go. My gosh. Again, I'm not really sensing any major hiccups or bumps or challenges or losses in this next chapter of your life. I'm just feeling nothing but good times and harmony and alignment. Those are like big words that I'm feeling come through for all of you who chose the air card here. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I'm so happy I was able to share with you what's coming up in this next chapter of your life. Please like and comment down below what you're affirming, what you're taking with you from this reading moving forward and call this wonderful, wonderful future into reality here. And of course, if you haven't yet, I invite you to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any videos, especially if you love the vibes here and you can go to another video by clicking this link right up here in the top right corner and if you'd love to show support for the creation of all these wonderful readings for you you can simply just let the ads play whenever you watch a video here on YouTube or if you feel called to you can even donate and there's a link for that in the description box down below so my loves I had so much fun doing this reading for you I'm so excited for you and um, have fun with your goose that lays a golden egg here and your lovey love <laughs> sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs thank you for allowing me to share these wonderful wonderful um, future messages for you bye
Hey there, Star Fam! Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. And for those of you that are new to this channel and this is your first reading, oh my gosh, welcome, welcome, welcome! So happy to have you here, sending you a warm island aloha. So happy you're here. Do let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments down below. So let's get into your reading here for those of you that were drawn to the water element and this lovely aquamarine crystal. We're going to just tuck this over here on that side of the table and let's get into some basic energy readings here. Let's see if there are any challenges or triumphs or um, other pieces of information that can be foretold here about what is in the next chapter of your life. Let's see what spirit can share with you on what you can look forward to, like a heads up on what's to come here. Let's do one more shovel. It's weird on that second little... Um, second segment <laughs> oh my gosh thank you mercury retrograde at the time i'm like filming this mercury's in retrograde and so you know communication skills aren't at their finest in any case let's just get to this we have the eight of wands Ooh, the king of wands okay we are already starting strong with this wands energy here queen of coins queen of wands dang okay okay there's a lot of people oh my gosh knight of swords are you kidding me it is literally going to be a party up in here in this next chapter of your life all these people coming through and the six of swords wow okay so what i'm seeing here for many of you is you are going to be put in a position where you're going to be meeting a crap ton of people why so we have this eight of wands and we have this six of swords both of these cards speak about movement from one place to another and for some of you it literally means like you're moving like physically moving moving homes moving apartments moving cities moving states moving countries you are literally moving from one place to another okay and that would explain why y'all got so many dang people showing up here in the next chapter of your life um and what i'm seeing here is that this is actually a very good move for you it's um it's like meant to be it's going to be crucial and important for you in achieving your goals so it's like some of you this move is probably very intentional right like moving for a job moving because i don't know maybe you got married to somebody and and now you're moving into a new home together um but for others of you it might just be a move because you need a change of scenery um, maybe for some of you it's even a move out of necessity right like um maybe it just got too expensive where you were living and you had to move somewhere else that is a little bit more affordable for you at this time. So regardless, what I'm sensing, this move is necessary. Like it has to happen. It was meant to happen and it's really important. And a big reason for why this move had to happen is because you were meant to connect with all of these people. My goodness. So um, what I think we should maybe look at first here is that we have all the elements here swords represents air wands represents fire coins represents earth we have all of the elements here except for water <laughs> and so it would seem like um given that there's this absence of water energy um, which speaks a lot to um, very, very strong emotional connections. What I'm seeing here is that a lot of these connections are actually based on intellect, on career, on uh, sort of growth when it comes to your 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 knowledge base and your skill set okay so these relationships although over time they could definitely become like really strong bonds of 
of best friends, maybe even a lover or or spouse, soon to be spouse, like even though it could lead in that direction, right now the primary forces that are coming into your life are very much professional, very much collegial, okay? And and very platonic is what I'm sensing too. So maybe, um, interesting enough, maybe some of you are moving because you're starting another round of education, okay? So for those of you that are recently graduated from high school this could be you going to um, college or university for others of you it could be pursuing you know a master's degree a doctorate degree for some of you it could even be training to um, be even more skilled and more competent in your craft in your vocation in your profession right um, like like chefs, for example, right? So it could be that you're going to train under another chef to learn how to make a certain kind of cuisine or um, train in, instead of just making like main dishes, training in um, baking and pastries and dessert making, things like that. So it could even be um, that where it's more like a I don't want to say certification program because it's like so much more than that. But in any case, you're expanding your um, extraordinary skill set even beyond what it already is. Okay, because I get the sense that no matter what your situation is, you're already quite talented, quite smart, quite capable. And so it's like, hey, let's just challenge ourselves and grow even more and achieve and be capable of so much more than we are now. So that's pretty rad. I love this like lifelong student, lifelong learning situation you got going here. Um, let's take a look at these characters now, okay? Because we have a king, queen, queen, and a knight. So normally I don't um, restrict this gender-wise, but definitely Spirit is telling me right now that in this particular reading, it's speaking to people who are biologically female. So it's like you're born that way or you're um, trans female, okay? Um, and then these two are male identified or born male or trans male, okay? So we have two female figures and two male figures coming through here for you. Now, what I find very interesting here is with the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Wands, look at their faces. Like, it's so interesting that their eyes and their mouth and their nose have such a similar structure and um, features, right? It's almost like they could be sisters in a way. I mean, obviously, this person is representing the goddess Pele from Hawaii, so Polynesian. And this person here looks like they're likely from the continent of Africa, okay? So genetically, different group of people here. But... Um, what I'm sensing is these two people are closely related. So they could be either like best friends and you meet the two of them when you are in this new stage of your life, or they could be like your coworkers, right? So these could be represent two women at your next place of employment, your next school here. Um, I'm just looking, I just wanted to pull, because now I'm like super curious here, because I want to pull out the other two queens and see, like, do they have the same kind of eyes and features? Because that would be interesting, because I never noticed that before, and I've been using these cards for like, my gosh, almost a year now, I would say, at the very least. Um... So I found one of them. Let's see, where is the other one? Um, okay, so maybe not so much. Yeah, so it's this, these two queens. Okay, so definitely not like um, um, planned. This is like completely in sync. So these two people, these two women are very close to each other. Again, maybe they're siblings, maybe we're in the same family. Or they could be like your co-workers, okay? You work together with these two women. Now, what I'm sensing is that both of these women are very outgoing. And they're very outspoken as well. Like, they're not shy. In fact, these could even be people that would approach you and offer friendship to you. And like, hey, let's go grab lunch together, right? Let's go hang out. Let's get coffee. Or come to this party with us. Like, whatever the situation may be. These people are very warm. They're very welcoming. They, um... 
they want to get to know you well they're not shy to interact and welcome the new person whatever that again however that applies to your journey moving forward and so that's really really beautiful now as far as personalities go we can take a look at the elements and that will give us a clue as to maybe what sign they are so with the wands we're looking at fire signs that's aries sagittarius leo and for coins we're looking at earth signs so that's taurus um uh, Capricorn and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. Now what's so interesting about it is even though these, you work with these two people or they're related, they do tend to butt heads. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Cause again, they're both very outspoken, very strong willed, um, very outgoing kinds of personalities. And so, you know, sometimes that, outgoing energy plus outgoing energy maybe boss energy plus boss energy there's gonna there's bound to be some sort of conflict here or butting of heads okay i don't get the sense it's enough to like ruin a friendship or make things really difficult maybe at most there might be some awkward moments here and there okay like oh i can't believe she said that kind of of uh, uh, times and instances but Overall, they tend to get along quite well most of the time, okay? Now, I'm trying to see if I can maybe get some more characteristics out of them for you. So what I'm sensing is that they're both very nurturing, but they do so in different ways. And so the Queen of Coins is all about making you feel comfortable. So this Queen of Coins could be someone that is um, outspoken in the sense that they will speak up for you if you don't want to speak up for yourself. Okay, so they're kind of like protective, like mama bear <laughs> kind of energy coming from this person where it's like no one wants to cross them. And the fact that you they tick you under their wing is like you're under my protection now. So if anyone picks a fight with you, they're picking a fight with me. Like that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here from this person. And this person isn't, you know, they're not necessarily the most graceful. Um, and even though they identify as female, like they're not the most feminine, you know, and I'm talking about those stereotypical classic female um, qualities of being soft, being reserved, being coy, um, being graceful. Like this person is very gruff, um, very tomboyish also is what I'm getting from this energy from this queen of coins here um, is this very like rough and tumble energy because like she's out here she doesn't even care about wearing a bra or anything like that to cover up not that she should but you know as far as western society goes this is like oh my god i can't believe you're not covered up right it's just so shocking and she's out here with this boa constrictor she's like yeah i could take you right so this very tomboyish energy which is so adorable um but don't tell her i said that <laughs> Now, with this energy here from this Queen of Wands, what I'm getting now, this is definitely more feminine, classically feminine energy here. Very graceful. Um, I'm sensing she uses her power, not so much in this blunt show of force, but more with her charisma, with her abilities for persuasion and getting people to um, come to her side and and come to her viewpoint right this one's a little bit more um <laughs> butch if, you, if i can just say that oh my god i know so so funny a little bit more butch a little bit more femme kind of like energy going on here but it's beautiful i think these types of energy there's beauty within all um sorts all forms of expression self-expression right and so this person is very, very uh, much graceful. I sense that this person is the type of person that will cook for you and like share food with you. Like, oh, and, and they're a great cook too, is what I'm getting from this person. They make delicious food. And so it's really a treat when they invite you over for dinner or they bring food for a potluck or they bring food to share at the office or at school, whatever, right? Like this person knows how to, is like, a beast in the kitchen like they're so talented and they're so skilled 
Um, so I really love this kind of dynamic here. Like um, this energy is definitely like fixer upper. I'm getting it's so bizarre. Um, it's like this person, they're like a handy person in a way. Like if you have a problem with the house, like a door is creaking or the water isn't running properly or something like that, like they'll help you with that. But this person is like, oh, you need help cooking something. You need some tips on getting like stains out of the rug or out of your clothing. Like, I'll help you. It's like so cool. I love this dynamic. This is so fun. Um, now, let's go on to the king and the knight. So with this knight of swords, I'm sensing this person is very much like your intellectual equal and in a way there's almost a bit of rivalry coming with this person so it's almost like this person keeps you on your toes because again you're already very skilled very talented is what i'm getting and you're kind of progressing in your skill sets for some of you and moving forward so maybe you were like top of your class kind of vibe right um and this person here is going to be your intellectual rival and they're going to really challenge and push you to continue to do even better um, they're kind of like your competition, but in a very healthy way here. Um, and I love that. I love that. Um, this person is definitely going to help you push a little bit further than you thought you were capable of. And so it's a very friendly rivalry, I sense, from this one. Now here with the King of um, Wands... This person to me feels very wise, actually. The energy that I'm getting is this person is very wise and to some extent is going to serve as like a mentor or a coach for you. So they could be one of your professors, your instructors, right? Um, or this could even be like your boss, um, at least in the professional sense. And for a smaller, smaller subset of you, you know, what I'm sensing is maybe some of you, this could be like if you're going if you're religious and part of your move is finding a new place of worship, this could be the leader of that institution. So like the rabbi, the priest, um, the pastor, like whatever, those are the only kind of ones that I know, but um, that's that will be this person as well. And that's just for like a small group of you. And this person, what I'm sensing is they're definitely going to be older than you by a fair amount, okay? It's not like this person is like two or three years older than you. I'm sensing even more than that, like maybe five, ten plus years older than you. And so that's where a lot of their wisdom is going to come from. And part of their wisdom, too, is because this is represented by the Phoenix, is they've gone through this rebirth in their life. Like they've had some sort of midlife crisis or just life crisis in general, and they've had to reinvent themselves and and shed off their old identity and step into this brand new identity and become something new and different than what they were before. And in that experience, especially for those of you who have gone through that already, there is this like wealth of wisdom and knowledge and advice that could be passed down for those of people who are going through a similar experience right now. And so I feel like this person is going to um, be a great source of advice for you and guidance as you sort of step into this new, literally new world, new place, new environment, new office, new workplace, um, university school. Um, so whatever that environment is like for you, this person is a great anchor and source of comfort even right? Comfort. Like this person isn't someone who's like going to look down on you or anything. I sense a lot of compassion from them. Compassion and understanding and and empathizing, if not sympathizing with what you're going through as part of this transition. Okay? So let's take a look at your love life now. Let's see what's coming through in this next chapter of your life regarding love, romance, relationships of all sorts. Okay? Let's see what we got for you, loves. Oh my gosh, your reading is so fun. I love it. I hope you're enjoying it too, my dear. I mean, I can't I can't wait to hear about these people that you're meeting. It's going to be pretty awesome. And you might not, you know, completely remember this right now, but you might want to bookmark this video and come back to it later and see if you can kind of match it up and be like, oh, this person I met is totally the queen of coins. And oh, this person is the knight of swords. That would be really cool, huh? To kind of look back and, and see how everything kind of comes to being and manifests. So here we have 
healing, oh, tea, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. So, you know, as you go through this major shift in your life, this major change in environment and, and roles, definitely have a little bit of patience and compassion for yourself, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself, like thinking you should be picking things up faster than you did before. And perhaps this person is gonna be very instrumental in that. And you know, if you're like me, sometimes a good meal is a great source of comfort as well. And this Queen of Wands could hook you up. Unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. Journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. And we have surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will be well. Look at that dress. That's such a colorful and beautiful dress. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. Oh, okay. I was sensing this as soon as I pulled this card out. And then now it's just getting confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. No. The answer to your question is no. Okay, so for those of you that were drawn to this water card, it doesn't look like in this next chapter of your life there's going to be a lot of major moves and progress in the realms of love and romance. This is really a journey for yourself, a time for yourself, um, at least for the first few months up to a year even is what I'm getting, where it's like you're going to be so busy kind of adjusting to your new schedule, your new um, circumstances, your new environment, that it's almost like love is going to be the last thing on your mind at this point. And for those of you that are in union or already partnered up, like nothing crazy is going to be happening here. I think both of you will probably be adjusting to your new situation and new surroundings. And again, your new schedule, right? As you are going on this um, new chapter in your life that doesn't necessarily mean your partner is going through a similar chapter either okay and if they are they might not even be in the same class or whatever and oh my gosh even if they are like they have their own experience right and they have their own ways of processing the new situations that are coming but in general I feel this is a time for yourself a time for self-reflection a time for um, adapting, right? And surrendering. And with this surrender, it's because, again, everything is so new here that you have to surrender control, okay? Um, this is a new arena for you, and so you just don't know. You don't know what's up. You don't know what's going around. You don't know the protocol. You don't know what's going to happen um, at this point in time. This isn't one of those like cruise control. I'm just going to be a zombie robot. Every day is going to be brand new twists and turns. And so it's just surrender to the ride. Um, it reminds me of, you know, when you're driving in ice or slippery conditions, you're taught that if the car if you lose control of the car and it kind of swerves to one direction you're supposed to turn the wheels in that direction even though your instinct is to go opposite right to kind of straighten out so if it's kind of turning to the right some people their instinct is to turn the wheel to the left to kind of compensate and balance it out but that's actually not what you're supposed to do you're supposed to turn into the way you're sliding so if the car swerves to the right you have to turn to the right so that's about going with the flow, okay? Moving with it. And something similar like that too is with like, um, I notice with snowboarding, is that you have to kind of like lean into the direction you're turning instead of fighting it. And so with this, Spirit is saying surrender, like wherever the twist or this, um, this sudden surprise is taking you, just kind of roll with it, move with it, okay? Um, what I'm sensing here, you know, even though you're going to meet these two lovely people that are very outgoing, you're going to have some times where you feel quite alone. Um, and I think that's normal. Okay. Um, but always remember that the divine is with you, that you're actually not going to be lonely forever. 
and it's just like it's just this period of time that you're in it's not permanent by any means it will shift and change okay um it kind of reminds me again of like my first days at university my first days at a new school because i was a military brat i don't know if any of you if your parents were in the armed forces and you moved a lot as a kid but i remember those days where it's like you knew you were gonna make friends but that first day of school that first day at a new job is always the toughest because you're you're just so unfamiliar with the culture the people where everything is like literally the layout um and so at times it can be a bit frustrating and a bit lonely um but again it's not going to be permanent but i empathize i empathize with that struggle now one thing that's so interesting that spirit is suggesting here is just to be journaling so maybe you don't have as much opportunities to talk to people as you're starting to get your bearings here and have that um, solid social circle in this new place but it's good to have a means of release for the emotions you're experiencing and journaling is a great way to do so okay now when it comes to romance not only is it like okay you're going through this very big shift in your life and so you don't really have a lot of time or capacity for romance but it looks like here with your twin flame is not ready yet it looks like your twin flame is also going through their own personal journey at this time and so that's why you're not going to be able to connect right away here with this new move this new shift okay and so they're going to need their own time and space. So when it comes to love and romance, big fat no, no big moves, no big plays happening here, no engagements, marriages, or, um, you know, reuniting of long lost soulmates. That's not happening just yet in this next chapter of your life. Um, but that could happen in the chapter afterwards. So we'll have to see, huh? <laughs> so let's pull some more messages here, some more um things that we can gather from spirit about what's coming in this next chapter in your life what can be shared with you at this point in time wow that was a good one okay so spirit is saying from the top we have keep your dreams alive. Wow. So that's where the focus needs to be is what I'm sensing is more on what are you trying to create in this world that's solely yours, not so much your dreams of you and another person creating a life together, like a romantic partnership or something. It's what are your dreams about? What are your goals? Okay. That's where the focus is going to be for this next chapter of your life. And then things will follow after that. Orange spirit saying get the bottom one. So we have acceptance of love. Okay, wow. So what I'm feeling with this card here is that this isn't, even though it's depicting like this really romantic scene here, is what I'm actually getting from this card here is that love comes in many different forms. And it comes from friendship, comes from family. So just receive that support and love here. And again, going back to this, be gentle with yourself, take a time out, like moving is no small thing. Starting a new job, starting university, starting a PhD program, like that's not something that um, you should feel is something like light and easy. It's not like going to the grocery store, right? <laughs> it's not like picking some food up at the drive through or anything like that. Like it's a big shift. So take love wherever it shows up in the days that are coming and use that as your refuge and use that as your support and your time out from whatever stresses may arise with this um, transition here in your life. And then, oh, look at this again. Be gentle with yourself. We see that twice. So I'm getting the sense that many of you are overachievers and maybe some type A personalities out there. You know who you are, perfectionists. <laughs> and Spirit is saying like, hey, this is like, this is a challenge that you've never had to experience before. So be gentle with yourself. Don't be so critical and judgmental of yourself if things don't go so smoothly right out of the gate or if you're experiencing more challenges than you anticipated and don't beat yourself up and you know like i i'm seeing this image of those people that you know when they make a mistake or something doesn't go right they go uh stupid 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 and like they like hit their head i'm not saying that you go to that extreme like maybe it's just more of a verbal inner dialogue here but don't put yourself down 
if you don't get it right or perfect the first time, okay? That's why you're in this next stage of your life is to build these skills and become better than you are. And there's going to be a little bit of stumbling on the way. And that's totally normal. And I would say that's beyond acceptable, okay? It's like expected. So be gentle with yourself, my loves, because you are really setting yourself up and laying the foundation for something amazing after this chapter, okay? So let me know in the comments down below what resonated with you from this reading and what you're taking with you. I'm really excited for these new people that you're meeting. And of course, I invite you to like this video if anything resonated with you at all and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, if you have the space and capacity to go another reading, there is a link right up here in the top right corner. You can just hover it over it and click it and it'll take you there now. And to those of you that love to show your appreciation for the reading, you can simply let the ads play here on YouTube whenever you watch a video. Um, or there's actually even a link in the description box down below where you can donate if you feel called to do so to support content creation here on this channel. That would be much appreciated. Until next time though, my dears, sending you so much love on this amazing journey ahead of you. It's so exciting. Um, and I feel like that's going to trump any apprehension or worries that you fear is this excitement of the new. So sending you cosmic love and oh, cosmic hugs. <laughs> I totally said that weird. Anyways, bye loves. Hey there, star fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> Oh, I always sang that. And for those of you that are new to this channel, I don't always sing. Um, so I'm wanting to send you a warm welcome and aloha. So happy to have you here. Do let me know in the comments down below where you are tuning in from. So for those of you that were drawn to this fire card, I have this like beautiful fire butterfly here as like a headpiece. And the Aragonite. Let's get into your reading. So we're going to tuck this puppies over here. And let's check in with the general energies and um, general information about what's coming next in your life. Any challenges, any triumphs, whatever insights we can get from spirit and the universe and your higher self to kind of give you a little sneak peek of this next chapter of your life, a little bit of foreshadowing. Maybe if there's any way you can even prepare for it, right? At this point, I feel like it's going to be inevitable. So maybe not so much to prepare. It's just more about um, having that awareness of what's to come here in this next chapter of your life. So we have the page of coins, seven of coins, the sun. Ooh, okay, okay. Two of Swords. Oh, wow. The energy is so very, very interesting already coming through. So different from the other readings I recorded. The Star. Oh, wow. And the Queen of Coins. Okay, so. Seems like we have a fair amount of coins energy coming through here. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm sensing is for sure from for for you that were drawn to the fire card here, this has something to do with work, career, profession. It has to do with material wealth, finances, material belongings, possessions, um, like your home. Uh, your physical home like it it has to do with very like 3d um things here okay and i see for this next chapter of your life looking at this progression here we start out as the page of coins so some sort of new piece of information some kind of new venture new job new role new position new home um maybe some of you are coming into some kind of money, okay, like a pay raise, maybe some kind of inheritance even, a bonus, whatever. And then coming out of it, 
quite the big leap to the queen of coins because what comes between the page and the queen usually is the knight of coins so it's this big leap and this big shift in your 3d reality in the physical world for you all right um for some of you i see you know investing in something and being able to multiply that investment so Perhaps it could be something like you invest in one property and then from the earnings on this property, you can invest in a second property and like increase your um, income in that way. Okay. For some of you, it could be even moving into a larger home. It could be something like that. And for others of you, this could be like um, moving into a new job or position and very quickly getting promoted or even getting a raise, right? Like within one year's time, like, you know, you're already a manager or something, or you got the highest possible raise for your position. And maybe you're going to be given the opportunity to take on another role within the company or something like that. So I'm seeing like a lot of these types of possibilities where you're going to start off as like, you know, feeling like a bit of a newbie, um, a beginner, and ultimately being very confident actually at the by the end of this next chapter of your life in your skills in your know-how in navigating the system whatever that system is again like home work finances investment whatever that means for you okay so you're going to be um, quite skilled and proficient that's a good word you're going to come out feeling very proficient like and here you're maybe going to experience some frustrations and just like oh my gosh i wish i had known that sooner or why didn't anybody tell me that or no one taught me that so now i have to learn it on my own right so you're going to go through that and then come out being like super talented and super skilled and i'm seeing like fire this fire energy here even though it's a coins card and fire here which is the swords card and and actually what i'm seeing for all for you all is up there are going to be some challenges and it's like you're going to be forged and shaped by the fire it's like reminding me of blacksmiths how they heat up the metal like really 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 hot and they like pound at it with the hammer to shape it and mold it and and just like a diamond too where you're just placed under so much pressure right the coal is placed under so much pressure and then ultimately it comes out shining bright like a diamond here okay and so kind of what i'm seeing here is like newbie challenge frustration irritation annoyance and then receiving recognition where it's like oh wow like wow this person is really capable like everyone else is kind of giving up or everyone is backing out but you're hanging in there and you're really showing your what you're worth and your discipline and your dedication and your commitment to this and like it's gonna really impress some people and with the sun card i'm getting the sense you're gonna get that recognition for it like someone's gonna be like dang you are on fire like it looked like i wasn't sure how it was gonna go but in the beginning because you look like he was on rocky footing and rocky ground and now i'm seeing you and you're like okay you are in it to win it okay you better you better work girl <laughs> that, like that's kind of the conversations i'm hearing and seeing um being spoken about you and then here what i'm sensing is that as you continue to face these struggles um, and challenges, maybe even some obstacles for some of you, there, there's this peace and calm about you. Like you're not wigging out. You're not freaking out. That was more this energy here. But by this point, you are just cool, calm, and collected. And it's like you found this inner peace in the face of adversity and challenges and now you're armed and you know just how to handle it you know what needs to be done and um uh, what i'm i'm feeling is like know what you know know what you don't know and know where to get help or get the answers it's like you've mastered that now you're not like fumbling around anymore it's like you know what to do no matter what the situ whatever the situation calls for you know what to do you know how to solve it um and there's this air of confidence within you now as i'm like seeing this and you know you have so there's this fire here in front there's this whirlpool here and there's this like crazy loch ness monster slash hydra creature in the background as well and look 
you are just chilling like a villain. Like you are feeling so boss. You're like, you know, whatever obstacles are before me, I just have to quiet my mind, go within and receive the answers and the guidance. And I got this. So, um, not only in this next chapter of your life do I see you being challenged and overcoming so, so much, but I also see you um, sort of just like in general, elevating and starting to have more faith and belief in yourself than you ever have before. Um, and this buildup of your confidence, okay? That's definitely what I'm feeling here from this. And I mean, my gosh, look at this queen here. She is like not all the way dressed for Western standards of women and she don't care. She's so confident. She's feeling her body. Okay. She's loving it. And I have the same sense for you. Okay. Um, oh my God. Why did I not see this before? You know, for actually a good chunk of you, this next chapter of your journey is also about your physical health and well-being. My gosh, duh, 3D reality, physical world, like you can't get more physical than your body, <laughs> which is the vessel for your spirit and your higher self, right, in this dimension. And so definitely for some of you, this is like a health journey um, where you are, you know, maybe going to pick up a new exercise routine, um, start a new diet, maybe um, start working with your healthcare team to manage a chronic illness properly. Like whatever the case may be, you are making big strides in that. And again, people are recognizing it. They're noticing it. Um, you know, they're seeing how much healthier you're, you're becoming little by little, even though you may not be seeing it for yourself because you're kind of in the struggle, right? And what I see here with this star is like um, accomplishment and success like you are reaching your goals it's like oh my god you're going to be like i never thought the day would come when i would have achieved this goal and it's like yes honey you did it you did it it was not easy but you did it and you are a success and now you can take pride in knowing just how hard you worked and just how capable you are because some people they you know they give up or they don't have faith in themselves and the star card is all about faith trust belief okay and and you're going to prove to yourself just how skilled and capable you are from this all and then this level of confidence that is just exuding out of your pores is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be something else. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you know, what's so interesting too is technically the star, the sun is a star um, in our galaxy. And I don't know why I feel like I had to say that um, because I'm not quite understanding the meaning behind it just yet, but I know it probably has meaning for those of you listening that the sun is a star in our universe so there's a lot of overlap and interplay between these two cards here okay oh perhaps it could be that the light is always there even when it's dark the sun lights up the day but at night in addition to the moon the stars light up the sky as well so there's always light it's never like complete darkness and it's never just complete blinding light that no matter what difficulties you may experience, there's always that light there. There's always that um, opportunity to make your way through. There's always a solution. There's always hope. There's always miracles that can happen, okay? There's like, it's never like all is lost kind of energy. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm, loves it. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh my God, the way I just squealed like that made me think of uh, Schitt's Creek. Have any of you ever seen that show? That's Schitt's Creek with um, uh, David Levy, Daniel Levy. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot their real name. Um, <clears throat> but it's this hilarious show and I just love it. It's on Netflix here in the US anyway. So I encourage you guys to watch it. I think you'd enjoy it just as much. Um, it's an amazing show. It's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T -T apostrophe S Creek, C-R-E-E-K. <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, there's this girl and the sister of this family 
the daughter, the sister of this family, um, she does, she makes these sounds like, ooh, David, ooh, uh, gosh. Like she's almost like kind of like a valley girl, um, rich kid kind of talk. Oh my God, so I just totally made that noise. Like, oh, and she does that too. <laughs> oh my God, let me know if you know what show I'm talking about, guys, and, and show your love for that show because it was freaking amazing. <laughs> Okay, so this, what I'm shuffling here is all about like the love and relationship section of your life here, okay? <laughs> this next chapter, I should say, in your life. So let's see what we got cooking. We have fertility, fresh ideas, manifest, growth, plant your seeds. Ooh, okay, okay. Karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Feminine, your divine feminine, you seeking her twin or soulmate. <clears throat> Compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. Ooh, soulmate, compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. Ascend, expansion, evolution, universal intelligence, stay connected to spirit. Oh my God, how appropriate that that's here at the very end. We were just talking about how you're going to ascend from a page to a queen by the end of this next chapter in your life. And the ascend card comes here. So definitely your life as a whole is reaching new heights. Now for those of you, it seems like you are capable to take on quite a lot here. So not only are you going through these trials and tribulations here, but you're actually connecting to very, very key figures in your relationships. So for sure, we have a soulmate coming through here. And for a lot of you, that is going to be a romantic soulmate, like a romantic partner here. But for others of you, and most likely for those of you that are already in a relationship that's committed, this is like a best friend, okay? So we have best life partner, companionship, okay? Compatibility. So it's not outright speaking of just like romantic love and passion and things like that. It's literally like connecting with a best friend. And so for some of you, it's going to be like a best friend, so a platonic relationship. And for others of you, it's going to be also a romantic one. OK, so this person is coming through as well. Maybe they're going to even admire you for like you going through this challenge and they're going to see just how strong your will and your spirit is. And that's really going to be attractive to them. Ooh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm That's like really I'm getting like little tingles in my back. So that's definitely going to be true for a lot of you that this person you're going to attract them you're going to like seal the deal by demonstrating what you're truly capable of okay um and with this one now with this karmic partner one this one is really interesting um what I'm sensing from this is that despite everything going on with your life personally there are going to be some uh, responsibilities regarding your relationships that you do have to maintain okay so for some of you again if you're in a committed relationship it's like okay yeah you're going through this personal journey and work career personal growth whatever but your partner is still there and your partner still needs love and attention and you need to spend time with them so um, it's about this balance this compromise here okay it's like Okay, yeah, get your work done, work hard, but also relax, play, enjoy life at the same time, all right? Um, so a reminder to also nurture your personal relationships and don't throw them off to the side as you go off on this adventure here or if this is taking up your time and it's like your obsession or maybe it's frustrating you so much that you just get so focused on this and, and you kind of ignore everything else. So Spirit is saying, hey, compromise here balance everything out okay now with this divine feminine energy this is all about receptivity okay and that there's all this fiery energy up here at the top which is action do 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 while the feminine is about being just existing taking the time to relax recuperate, rejuvenate, sleep, 
Okay, like some of you, I'm sensing that some of you these with these overachiever vibes, it's almost like you can't go to bed and you can't rest comfortably until you've completed everything you needed to complete or you've solved that final problem. It's like you get kind of really into it, you know, and sometimes you're like, oh, my gosh, it's two o'clock in the morning and you have to get up for class or for work or whatever by like six o'clock the next day. And so um, Spirit is saying like, whoa, okay, just make sure you take care of yourself physically as well, okay, and rest. And for those of you on that physical journey where you're improving your health and exercising and, and adopting a healthier diet, whatever the case may be, it's about making sure that you give your body time to relax. Like don't go to the gym seven days a week for like one, two hours at a time. Like make sure you have your rest day. Okay. And don't go on a diet that's super duper restrictive <clears throat> that your body isn't able to get all the nourishment that it needs uh, to produce energy for you as well. So receive, receive, receive. Um, for some of you with this fertility, of course, we have fresh ideas, manifest growth, plant your seeds. So we see this growth here, right? And we see for those of you that planting your seeds is like an investment, okay? Planting the seeds for future wealth and abundance. But for others of you, this also speaks to like physical fertility as in having children. So be... For some of you, yes, I'm getting like it won't be hard if you're wanting to have children at this point in your life. But actually for others of you, this fertility is also um, reminding you to make sure you rest, make sure you take time to eat properly, make sure you manage your stress because that's all going to enhance and raise your fertility and ability to conceive, okay? So um, again, I'm just getting as I see the love relationship cards kind of lined up here with your general energies it's like balance 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 don't lean too heavily into the doing make sure you kind of come back and take some time for the being and simply existing and relaxing here okay now this compromise as well so definitely what this is saying is don't go to any extremes. So spirit is cautioning against taking the extreme route in any case. Um, maybe some of you might feel like, you know, with this image here, some of you may be feeling like, hey, if I go to the extreme, I'll get there faster. And spirit is like, no, 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 no. Don't be doing that, okay? You have to uh, make sure you pace yourself. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint, okay? I don't have any of you ever heard that phrase before. This is a marathon, not a sprint. No need to rush forth with anything, okay? So Spirit is definitely making sure to be aware of that. And with this too, it's like um, what I'm sensing is having an open dialogue and communication with the people in your life. And making sure you speak to them and that you know in your quest for growth here you don't stomp on people on the way up okay <laughs> that you don't do or say anything you may regret later in the heat of the moment when the energies and the tensions and the emotions are running high so make sure you take a pause to check in with yourself and take some deep breaths get some rest in um, yeah Wow, wow. Okay, so beautiful. We have some beautiful connections coming in here. Um, and a lot of learning as well. Um, because with this karmic partner here, what I'm hearing from that is learning. Learning about yourself, learning about your partner. And um, what I'm sensing is like boundaries. Learning a lot about boundaries. And healthy boundaries, maintaining boundaries. <clears throat> and honoring your commitments. Ah, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get some other messages here from Spirit with nature's whispers here, some other things that can support you moving forward into the next chapter of your life. Oh my gosh, loving this reading. Um, I'm so excited for your success here after all your hard work and growth. What a beautiful reward, right? <laughs> okay, so first out, we have 
shift your energy. Yes, so you're stepping into a new version of you. And definitely with the shift your energy, I'm sensing a lot of bobbing and weaving, okay? That you can't be in one mode for too long. You're going to have to shift your energy into relax mode. And from relaxing mode, shift your energy back into doing, taking action mode, right? So constantly moving your energy and adapting to the circumstances here. So not staying in the same energy pattern for a prolonged period of time. Show your support. Oh, okay. So again, I'm sensing this strong um, message of, hey, don't forget your loved ones. Don't forget your friends. Don't forget the human aspect of this as you work hard to achieve your material goals and your professional goals. Like, come back to your humanness, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, you know, really take a, a moment to remind yourself, like, why are you actually doing this? Like, for whose sake? For whose benefit? And um, not, you know, trampling and, and hurting people along the way. You know, some people, like, they spend so much time working because they want to be able to provide for their family, right? They want their family to be healthy, well cared for. They want to provide a roof and food and shelter for their family. But then they don't spend any time with their family. And then, you know, they just work, 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 work. And they don't connect with the family that they're trying so hard to provide for, right? It's like, what kind of situation is that? Where it's like, you wanted this family because you wanted love in your life and you wanted caring, you wanted nurturing. You wanted memories, right? But then you spend all your time at work and you're completely detached from that earlier goal. And so Spirit is just reminding like, hey, come back to the people in your life because that's what makes everything worth it, okay? You want them around when you celebrate <laughs> your achievements, right? You want to be able to invite people to the party and not alienate people um, on your quest. And lastly here, we have acceptance of love. Oh. So yeah, just come back to love. And for those of you that are going to meet this like soulmate here, um, accept their offering, okay? Um, in case some of you feel like you get on guard because of whatever fears and concerns you have about being vulnerable and opening yourself up to love again or, or really deep friendships. So accept it. This person is going to be very, very special in your life. Oh, I love it. Oh, it got so like tender here at the end of the reading so let me know what resonated with you by commenting it down below and of course like this video subscribe to this channel to continue to receive readings if the vibes resonate with you and you can click this link right up here in the top right corner to go to another reading and for those of you that want to show love and support to the channel and the readings here at transform with ryan you can do so by just letting the ads play here on youtube whenever you watch a video or you can even donate by clicking that link down in the description box, okay? So I'm really excited for all your future success and achievements. What a wonderful reading, and it's good to know that everything will be worth it, no matter what you experience and go through, and that you have this beautiful support system here in place. So make sure you acknowledge them, okay, loves? Sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. So glad that we got to connect today. Take care. Bye. Hey there, star fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. And to those of you, <laughs> like, what am I trying to say? To those of you that are new to this channel, sending you a very warm welcome and aloha. So happy to have you here. Thank you for joining. Go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments down below. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we got the greetings taken care of, for those of you that were drawn to this earth energy and or this unikite, let's get into your reading all about the next chapter of your life. So we're going to just tuck this lovely card and crystal right over there. And we're going to start off with the general energies, okay, and kind of the general themes that are going to be coming up in this next chapter in your life. We're going to see which aspect of life is probably going to be maybe affected the most. We're going to see what kinds of hints and foreshadowing, what previews <laughs> that spirit can offer us regarding this next chapter in your life. 
wow, my hands feel like so like stiff all of a sudden. Okay, but we got this. Okay, let's see. We have page of coins, five of coins, king of wands, Three of coins, queen of cups. How is this all looking here? I feel like we're almost getting out of the range. And then two of cups. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay, okay. So what I'm definitely seeing here is there is a possible there is likely going to be a very beautiful beautiful connection coming in here in this next chapter of your life for some of you it's going to be romance for others of you it could even be like a bestie or a new friend so we're going to do a separate section here on love and relationships but already that energy is like coming through and just you know right here off in the beginning i'm seeing this socialization Okay, um, I'm seeing that you're going to meet somebody at some kind of social event, some kind of gathering here, <clears throat> and you're going to feel this deep connection um, with this person, like an emotional bond that what I'm getting is kind of unexplainable, right? And again, it could be a romantic connection or it could be like BFF, like kindred spirit kind of connection, but something very emotionally strong is coming through with that. Now here with this... Um, combination of these energies here what i'm feeling is that it's going to be in like an event some kind of gathering some kind of community where there is really shared interests involved so maybe it could be like a work party where people from all the different departments and branches of, of the company come together and celebrate um something or it could be that you are part of this new community that um shares the same values as you like maybe a nonprofit kind of community volunteer community spiritual community religious community um or just like hobbies like oh my gosh what came through just now is like dungeons and dragons like a D, D kind of group or maybe a gaming community um or if you guys like have a shared interest in hiking bouldering like definitely some brand new connection arising from this um, for many of you it's someone you haven't met yet so like a, a stranger um, for a very 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 small group of you it's somebody that you know and your relationship is going to take on a new dimension a deeper layer and this is someone like you maybe know in passing like maybe you met them once or you've heard of them um, but you don't like know know them and that's what's going to shift and change for you so that's what's coming through like early on already um, for some of you. Now let me take a look because I know there's more messages, especially since we didn't touch on this page of coins and five of coins just yet. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is also for um, some of you, there's going to be this next chapter in your life is kind of starting off with a little bit of financial constraints and some worry over finances here and worrying about like how you're going to be able to take care of yourself maybe how you're going to be able to take care of other people um, in your life that you're responsible for like you know like your children for example and and i i feel like it's going to have you a bit worried okay like you're gonna feel like oh my gosh um I feel like I'm at the bottom of the totem pole here, like I'm at the beginner's level, like how am I ever going to make ends meet? How am I going to, how can I make money faster than what I'm making now? Okay, like that's going to be part of what's on your mind for some of you. And here what I'm seeing is that there's this community that's going to come in. There's a mentor or a teacher that's going to help you out, that's going to show you the way. OK, so someone is going to really give you financial advice here to get your finances in order. And you're going to see that there are multiple ways 
for which you could expand your wealth, okay? So some of it could be investing, some of it could be selling something, um, uh, offering a service. Um, some of you, you know, maybe as you go, what I'm feeling is like, I don't know, there's this like financial planner vibe here, like consulting with a financial planner or someone that has a lot of know-how in knowing how to manage finances, like maybe knowing how to file your taxes properly and get the appropriate credits that um, will give you more money on a tax return, right? Or maybe being able to claim certain things on your taxes that you weren't claiming before and for others of you um, even though this three of coins isn't the classic card for charity what i'm seeing though is this coming together of a community and it's like your own personal community to kind of help you out when you need it okay so like it could be something as simple as you know gas prices right now because we're in approaching summertime and this is classic although it's gone up um, to a new height earlier than what I recall in years past, gas prices are going up here in the U.S. Um, some people say I think it's even because of what's happening in um, Europe. But with um, gas prices going up and you have to commute to work, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't have money to keep filling up my tank. The commute is kind of long and plus there's traffic. So it's really using up a lot of fuel. And it could simply be like you and some of your coworkers coming together and having a carpool situation in which now you all aren't really struggling with the cost of gas and transportation and you're pooling your resources and doing a carpool together, right? Or it could be that even you know, family members or friends are offering to um, watch your, your children after school so you can put in some a little bit of overtime and get paid time and a half or double pay or something like that. Um, so there's a lot of ways in which people can come together to relieve some of the burden that you may be experiencing. So definitely in this next chapter of life, it's all about connections, like interpersonal connections supporting each other okay especially with this with love romance friendship coming in here someone who can really see what you're going through emotionally and connect with you sympathize empathize with you and be able to give to you that aid and that assistance um, because what I'm sensing is that they were in the same position as you were where there was a bit of a struggle financially or you know even with financial struggles there comes emotional struggles right stress worry anxiety depression um, anger frustration those kinds of things come up too and this person has been there before and they know what it's like and so their role is to bring some hope into your life and some joy and happiness to remind you like hey it's not all that bad like let's have fun together life is too short to be worrying about these little things you know and this is just temporary like we'll get through this i'll help you so i'm feeling a lot of this supportive energy coming through because look at like it's just this section here it just feels so strong and supportive um, like this interlocking of the hands, this child figure here who is just so carefree, um, not even worried about this. And um, I feel called to share a little bit about this story with you, this myth. So I believe this comes from Nepal. I could be wrong, but it's somewhere in, in Southeast Asia. And there's the story that these ogre, ogre-like creatures would kidnap children from the village and train these children up to be healers and spiritual leaders and masters but the training is very very rigorous and it's very hard and some children you know don't make it through the entire training and so they either get kind of they escape and they can go back home to their family or what's really a little bit disturbing is that there's this other ogre that will um like kill them and i'm just like what that's so strange that's so crazy um and so that was like a threat that this this teacher and spiritual leader would say is like if you don't keep up with your studies if you don't demonstrate your talent and learn these skills then i'm going to give you over to this evil ogre that will eat you up um 
And so that's part of this myth here of, of like overcoming these trials and tribulations and coming out with more knowledge and information and skills that through your um, struggles and suffering in a way, you're really putting yourself ultimately in this position to do better and sort of give back in a greater way. You know, it's kind of like what I'm sensing is a good example is like the struggles that you're going through. It's kind of like, you know, you spend so much of your time and energy raising your children up until, you know, they may leave the house at 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever the case may be. And then eventually they become their own adults. And at one point they'll be able to help you out a little bit too. Maybe they'll be able to earn some extra money and help you out financially. Maybe they'll be able to help you you know, pay the bills of your home as you get older, um, take care of you when you get sick. So it's like, yeah, you are, you are giving up a lot and, and struggling quite a lot here, but ultimately it's going to come back and the universe will always balance itself out and where you are giving, you're going to be able to receive, okay, in some shape or form. So that's coming through here for you. Definitely a little bit of struggle here in the beginning, but ultimately the help you need is going to come, okay? And it's kind of this lesson in receiving and, and moving with the flow of life because everything is not going to be perfect all the time, right? There's going to be times where you're going to need to get help from other people. You're not meant, no one is meant in this life to do everything by themselves and do everything on their own. There's times in our life where we have to lean on and rely on other people. And that's just part of this experience that we call human life. Okay, <laughs> so my dears, don't worry if things seem like they're not really in the best position for you moving um, like right now as you're entering in this next chapter of your life. But ultimately, everything will work out and you're going to have this beautiful connection here um, on the other end of it. Okay, I'm sensing a lot of support. Maybe for some of you, you are going through, you know, addiction, mental health. Um, problems and it's not just purely financial and now it's like about getting the help that you need whether that's a support group um, you know like there's intensive outpatient therapy um, 12-step programs AA right there's all these other support supports here and it's really about community coming together to help each other through a particularly difficult um, path in a patch in life and that's I think that's really what the overlying theme and an arch of this next chapter is is about community building um, trusting other people to help you and being gracious enough and open enough and vulnerable enough to receive the help that you need so that you can be the best version of yourself okay and then at some point in time you'll find an opportunity to give back just as just as how you've received, you know, I'm thinking about these um, organizations in which, you know, there were people who were part of maybe like big brother, big sister program when they were children. And they're really grateful that they had that big brother and sister to guide them. And when they become adults, they become a big brother or sister or they, you know, donate money and volunteer um, to host events and fundraisers for big brothers and big sisters because they know what uh, impact it has made on their life. And so I, I, I kind of feel that energy and that vibe coming through for you all. So let's look at love and relationships um, a little bit more than we have already. And maybe there's new information to be found here. Okay. So we have rise above. Oh my gosh, how appropriate is this? Rise above drama, obstacles, pettiness, find the strength to rise. So spirit is like, don't give up. Don't give up. This next chapter is not going to be all blessed out and peaceful and wonderful. It's going to be a challenge, but don't give up. You can do it. Unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet. Hidden path, detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. Surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will be well. 
and no. The answer to your question is no. So um, some of these cards, I believe, actually came out with the fire reading. So if you were feeling torn between earth and fire elements, like it might um, be helpful for you to listen to both because it could be that there are a couple of mul couple of elements um, coming through for you. Oh my God, was it fire? It might have even been water. Sorry, I think it was actually water. So, okay, scratch that. So if you were drawn to earth, I think it was actually the water reading that you might want to double check. And it was this collection of cards here that overlapped a bit, okay? So again, only if you felt called to the, the, the water reading as well that you should take a look. But otherwise, let's get back on track here, okay? <laughs> so definitely what I'm seeing here is this, this next chapter in your life is going to be one more of character building, growth, and self-development, okay? Rather than like celebrating good times and just partying and like being carefree. That's not this particular chapter in life. You will have one of those. Um, if you haven't already, um, you may have one again, actually. But um, just for this next chapter, this next sort of um, segment of your life, it's about showing what you're really made of here, showing that perseverance and that endurance here. Um, because there are times you're going to feel alone. And, you know, especially for those of you dealing with mental health, health issues, that's a very common thing to experience. Okay. Um, and for this, what I'm getting from this no is I heard the question like, am I going to be able to do this alone? And spirit is saying, no, 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 no. You're going to need to reach out. You're going to need to get help and assistance. And I feel like for many of you, that's the big hurdle. And there's some fears associated with that. Okay. There's fears of like people abandoning you and people and not trusting other people to help you. Um, and I'm also getting this fear of like judgment, of criticism, fear of like being seen as like a failure. And that's not the case at all. Okay. The people that are here to assist you, they don't think that way. Okay. Um, the people that won't help you are the ones that think that way. Right. Right. The people who are judgy pants are the ones that are probably least likely to help you. Um, so the people that will help you do have this kind and compassionate nature. Okay. And what I'm sensing here with this hidden path is all of this is going down because spirit is actually um, creating this opportunity for you to slow down and explore and and take a new direction in your life. OK, um, perhaps the direction you've been going in right now has been um, kind of like it doesn't feel aligned to you and you're not feeling very connected to it but you're just trying to make it work just because and also like maybe in, it's something you've worked hard for and it's like okay like I just got to stick with it like I've already made my bed I have to lie in it right and spirit is like no actually the reason why it's gotten so tough lately and you're not really feeling it and you're not into it is because there's another path for you moving forward and it's time for you to go in a new direction um, and so kind of like just as an example, okay, maybe some of you are in a career that isn't very fulfilling, like you're in a job where you're like, oh my God, I, I like give so much to this job and it's super draining. I don't love it. I'm very unhappy here. Um, I'm not making a lot of money and spirit is like, hey, time to do something new then. Time to go explore what it is you actually truly want to do and take steps toward it and go in a different direction. Like don't be stuck in this pattern anymore of of poverty, of struggle, right? And definitely for um, some people, you know, that suffer from addiction um, issues or mental health issues, there are a lot of periods of times that are like, you know, super, super trying, super challenging. Um, and it's when we reach these like crises points that we become even more acutely aware of like, which path do we actually want to go, right? It's like this choice is like pushed up in our face now. It's like, do we want to keep doing this or do we want to do something else? Do we want something better for ourselves? So there's this crisis point that's happening that's forcing you to pause and reassess and choose 
how do you want to move forward it's all about choice right now for for those of you that were drawn to this earth pile is that there are some things that you've refuse to acknowledge or you've been putting to the side or you've been like oh I'll deal with that later I'll deal with that later or maybe some of you have been thinking like oh like it's fine if I ignore it it'll just go away on its own like maybe that's some of the mindset you've been having with this unawakened this unaware darkness like you're just kind of shoving it away in its little box and you're refusing to look at it and you're refusing to face it for whatever reason okay I'm not trying to judge you or make you feel bad about what you're doing um it's just merely what's coming through as what is being observed and what's being brought up, okay? So whatever it is that you've been ignoring, it's it's something you can't ignore any longer. You have to rise above. You have to see these other options, these new directions, and have faith that all will be well. That if you just take that first step into the unknown, Oh my God, I just, that Frozen, that song from Frozen 2 just came out. Um, and the lyrics are so appropriate to this this reading here where it's like, you know, there is something that you've been feeling, thinking about, reflecting on already. So it's not entirely new or foreign to you. It's just this time you can't ignore it anymore and you can't push it off to the side. This time you have to address it and you have to take action on it now, okay? And again, support is available for you and someone is going to kind of stand out amongst the crowd and and be really your focal point your your pillar your rock through this this um scenario but you have to make the choice to do something different you have the choice you have to make the choice to heal um release be better do better um uh Go after your dreams, okay? So you have to make that choice in order for this person to enter your life. Because again, you're not going to be able to do this alone, okay? So you have to be open and willing to receive help and assistance. And most importantly, like love and support um, and compassion, okay? Oh, my loves, my loves, I'm feeling for you right now. Wow, so these readings have really taken on a different flavor each. And you know, I love it when that happens, um, where the messages are so varied. And so that lets me know that there's quite the array of people coming to these readings that are in different parts of their life and going through different journeys. Um, and it's so lovely to be here to kind of pass on those messages as people go through these different phases in life and to help in whatever way I can. That's truly a blessing. So let's get some more messages from spirit, okay? Some words of encouragement, some further insights um, and guidance. We have make a wish. Oh, so spirit is saying make a wish. Choose what is it that you want in your life and spirit will help you make it come true, okay? Um, you're never going to be abandoned. You're never, ever going to be alone. Um, make that choice for this for your dreams to come true, okay? And next we have, you are worth it. Oh my gosh, this is like wrenching at my heart here, pulling at my heartstrings. Oh, I definitely feel like some of you have been struggling with like self-esteem and worthiness um, and feeling like you're deserving of something better. And it's like your heart and your soul knows it, but there's some blockage, like deep, deep down, you know, right? Your higher self knows you're worth it, but deep, deep, down that's where it is and up here on the surface maybe it's your mind your shadow aspects like trying to trick you and fool you and limit you and spirit is saying you are worth it so type that down in the comments down below i am worth it i am worth it i am worth it oh yes anchor that in anchor that in let that kind of permeate and break through all these blockages and all this heavy energy and be in service okay so there are people out there in the world that want to be in service that want to help you um, that their calling is to help you their purpose right now in this chapter in their life is to be assistance to you specifically I know that sounds weird I know that sounds almost egotistical and things like that but you know, we come into each other's lives for a reason. And it's not always just about like, oh yeah, 
give me something to benefit me and give me that million dollars, give me that love, give me that good, good sex, give me that money, like whatever, you know, sometimes it's about, hey, let me receive, receive this support, receive this guidance, receive this helping hand, okay? And people, sometimes people, that's their purpose is to give you that helping hand, okay? Um, oh my gosh, I hope that made sense. I feel like that sounded a bit jumbled here. But in any case, you know, at any moment in any interaction, there's always someone that's meant to offer help and love and support and assistance. And there's someone that's meant to receive those things. Okay. And at this point in your life, it's about receiving. Okay. Cause you don't have to do it alone. Oh, my loves. I'm sending you the biggest energetic hug ever. Um, and just be open because there are people around you in your immediate circle that are going to be helping you. So let them come in, claim them, call them into your reality. Okay, my loves. Now, if anything resonated with you in this reading, feel free to comment down below or just simply give it a like. Um, and of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I invite you to do so if you resonate with the vibes and the energies of the readings. And then if you want to go to another reading, if you feel like you're up to it, you can click that link um, right up there in the top right corner. And if um, you feel called to support this channel in any way you can, again, you can just like, comment down below, or simply just let the ads play also whenever you're watching videos here on YouTube and that can support content creators, okay? So I'm just sending you so much love and support energetically to you, my loves. You got this. You got this, okay? Until next time, so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye.